Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another podcast, Vita. Today we are we are going to go ahead and we are going to discuss uh the different options that we have to do masters in economics. And today we have with us Suresh, and he's going to go ahead and tell you about how you can go ahead and how you can do masters in economics from IAFT. So welcome to the show, Suresh. Very good afternoon, ma'am. Hello, everyone. So. First, I'll start with a small brief introduction about myself. Myself, I'm Suresh. I'm basically from Telangana, Warangal district. So I have completed my undergrad in Geetam University, Vishakapatnam. So I have done my uh, bachelor's in economics, major in economics, and minor in history and electric and political science. Basically, I'm a humanities guy. So suddenly, I'm coming from the mixed stream that like economics with a mix of social humanity subjects to the only economic stream in the IFT, but I'm also enjoying here. So, we're talking about IFT, so I have given the entrance and on June 9th, hmm. so uh, the results were out on July and I think so, by July 20th, I think. So, yeah. Uh, I have gone through the other uh, universities too. So I have gone through the few other, but I choose uh, IFT over other. So because of its legacy. But yes. So, yeah. Coming to the IFT, uh, MA Economics course structure, it is a very rigorous course structure. Yeah. It is completely oriented to the mathematical economics. Okay. So everybody who are interested in doing masters in economics, there's a bit different uh, in IFT, DESC, and uh, whatever, South Asian, and uh, uh, JNU. So some universities with South Asian and JNU are completely oriented to the development economics. And, and DESC, IFT, and this kind of universities are oriented to the, the quantitative economics. Yeah. So this is a basic difference. So, Whoever well, want to do the masters in economics, just keep this in mind and choose your university. So, exactly. this is say it is a quantitative in nature. Um, exactly. If a student is not has not done maths in class eleven to twelve, are they even eligible to sit for IAFT exam? No, no. I think so. It is mandatory. We should have a mathematical course in our eleventh and twelfth grade. But it's, it is in the right maths. And how much maths do you use once you get at IAFT? Uh, is it very maths oriented or is it just that one of the subject is maths? Uh, to be frank, uh, so I have to discuss about how my course structure. So completely, we have 10 major courses. That's a, a mandatory courses and uh, six elective courses. So throughout the uh, two years, uh, 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 MA economics uh, journey. Hmm. So, mostly in the first semester and the second semester, we have used a lot of maths. Like in the first semester, uh, every semester we have, uh, first two semester we have four mandatory courses okay. micro, macro, and echo tricks, and mathematical economics. And all of them, they use maths. And present also, we are going with advocacy micro, that is game theory and industrial organization. Then uh, mathematical economics, advanced mathematical economics, uh, macroeconomics, sorry, uh, and financial economics and uh, international trade. So again, so the thing is, the real real analysis part and explanation to the real analysis part, to your point through real analysis is the major thing. So that, that is why we are doing it. So we use a lot of real analysis. So each and every course will cover a bit max part in the course. Got it. Okay. So um, how is the culture at IFT? Many students, you know, they are still confused. They think IIFT is only for MBA students. How would you go ahead and tell uh, about MA economics program? Exactly. Like when it initially started, Hmm. So, it is completely corporate oriented, you can see, because MA economics used to also get a great uh, 
uh, internships or like campus internships in the campus itself and we even from the campus itself but uh, now system has changed yes there's a lot of difference between mba and mba economic schools hmm. so this thing you have to keep in mind the mba uh, thing is though is only corporate oriented thing. but mba economic schools is designed on research and uh, research oriented a bit okay so that it... tiny uh, every as they are touching every aspect of economics so they covering every what what let's full please so when we talk about masters in economics what i understood is that it ma'am and what do things yeah it includes the research part also and it includes the corporate yes it in it, it makes you prepare for corporate part also uh coming to the corporate part uh only yeah, i'm audible you are audible yes although i'm losing you in between Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, small network issues. Mm. I faced it, so it is a power cut. So that is one of my things. So okay, fine. Ah, uh, can you repeat the question? The M M A economics and the corporate world. You know, trying to link this thing, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, most of the seniors are in the corporate. So you can tell you that. Ah. Uh, No, I I lost you in between. So yeah. I lost you. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. I have very bad network here. So, oh, am I audible now, man? You are. Yes. Yeah. So most of the seniors in the other in in the corporate only because they are good in the data analysis part. That is because oh, most of of the core structure is covering the data analysis part. uh and the practical usage of the data also the teaching us like e views data yeah. or simultaneously with the theory we are also doing this uh, practice so that is why they are in corporate so this is also helping us to get uh, into corporate world. yeah so uh, are you also like do they teach you these uh, code coding languages do they teach you r python e views data uh, as of now Uh, as of now, like, uh, in the econometrics course, uh, they have taught us e views and a bit data. Mm -hmm. That is not in depth. That is like, uh, what I have to say, overview, like, kind of thing. And uh, there is no specific, uh, uh, specific course like only for the R or Python. As of now. Okay. I mean, it's yes. part of a particular course. It's a, a course. It's a basic econometrics and uh, the part of the. Tariffs or economics. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Sure. So, yeah. how is the placement for M economic students? Um, do students get placed? Do they have good internship opportunities available? Uh, at present, ma'am, oh, we are not getting that many as earlier. Earlier, we used to get Amex and uh, Amex Express and uh, Dunhart and all those things. But current this year, our batch we don't couldn't get anything, so we got V skill, say you know, internships yeah. and NSDA National uh, Skill Development uh, Program. See, so rather than this, uh, we didn't get any internship uh, opportunities from the campus. Yeah. yeah, and the placements, uh, compared to the previous batches, our placements were reduced. Okay. So the in the earlier uh, earlier batches they used to come, and they used to recruit from the class itself, like in the campus itself. At present, we are not finding that much, and the course is also tilted over research oriented. So okay. most of the courses are uh, just focusing on the research part. That's this. which means that um, if if a student wants to go into the corporate sector. Then would IAFT be a good yes. choice? So, I will say like to make uh, any during your masters. I I that 
uh, 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 in your masters, you have to develop your skills. That will end your job and get your job. In the campus thing, and IFT uh, uh, is not providing any that great opportunities for the students to be like on campus. They are getting only small internship opportunities. Okay, so from like, what we understand, uh, no job, not a lot of companies are visiting the campus, is it? Exactly, exactly, ma'am. Okay. Uh, uh, from the last year, say, uh, uh, not many companies are visiting IIT for MA Economics batch. We have good uh, placements and uh, things for the MBA batch. No, uh, and not for the MA Economics. I told you, you know, the uh, this trip, like from the corporate, research oriented. That yes. is the reason. Hmm. Got it. Got it. So, uh, it. so okay, got it. So, how otherwise? How is the faculty at IAFT, and uh, how is the life at IAFT? Uh, faculty in IAFT is highly qualified. So many of them from DSC, uh, and Jamie from there. So they had a lot of experience. So the and the coursework is really rigorous. So everything is uh, oriented to the real analysis part and uh, economics, uh, and mathematical economics part. So life at IFT, we have very great uh, campus infrastructure and great classrooms, and we have great uh, uh, accessibility to the library. We have the well equipped library with all the facilities. We have many journals, many financial, international trade, WTO oriented books, and we have Bloomberg access. So it is very beneficial to visit oriented books. Got it. Sure. Okay. So uh, just one last question I have for you. So how should a student go ahead and prepare for the entrance of IIFT? How much effort would be required? And can they do that in one month or not? Actually, in my case, I haven't took any uh, coaching and stuff. So I have prepared self. I have done my self preparation. So you have to go at the optimization and mathematical economics things. And you have to go at uh, basic economic tricks. So most of the questions they will ask from the econometrics part itself. So, if they could cover the Gujarati and uh, Chiang and basic micro and macro things, they could clear easily. And coming to the entrance exam pattern, it is somewhat different. It is of two hours and the questions are weightage like one mark questions, two mark questions and three mark questions. You have to be careful, a bit careful because uh, once you done with the question and you uh, went to the next question, you can't come to the previous question. Uh, this is a system they follow. So once you come, uh, you have to uh, manage your time very well in the exam. That is all. Got it. Yes. So basically, uh, uh, is there any negative marking that was there last year for you? No, ma'am. Okay. I don't. And what was your experience with the interview? Uh, uh, yes, we have two stages, right? First one is online based exam, and next one is interview. Interview may the three uh panelists interview for me, so each of them covered a um, part like one was uh, questioning me only about the trade, and other is questioning about me the uh, econometrics part. Like they have gone through my uh previous uh, uh, uh credits, like what have completed the courses in economics, they have questioned only from that itself, like only undergrad self. Oh, okay. Undergrad, uh, and you were asked on economics yeah. and international, is it? International trade, yes. I two questions on the economic trades. That's on economy. Got it. Got it. And um, yes. so, uh, were you given an option uh, between IAFT Delhi and Kolkata, and were you asked to choose or yes, ma'am, directly IAFT Delhi. Yeah. Initially, while filling the form uh, application itself, I have chosen uh, Delhi campus. Okay. Any, so that is how you can. Uh, uh, any particular reason why you chose IFT Delhi over Kolkata? So generally, because uh, uh, I am written to the uh, UPSC. Hmm. So UPSC. So oh. I want to parallelly prepare my UPSC. I want to do my parallelly uh, UPSC preparation with the uh, MA economics book. 
ओके 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 मेक सेंस ठीक है श्योर ओके थैंक यू सो मच टाइम टू डे सुरेश आई होप दैट दिस सेशन वुड बी यूजफुल फॉर द अपकमिंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड यू नो यू वुड सी देम एज योर जूनियर्स एट आई एफ टी डेली दिस ईयर यस थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू